Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's makeup tutorial is a fresh faced spring makeup look. We have finally hit spring and I am so excited for better weather, fingers crossed. I wanted to do something a little bit more easy and fresh faced and I chose to go with the pastel purples because I never wear cool tones and I never wear colour so I absolutely love how it turned out. It was really really easy and it's really pretty for springtime. So yeah, I really, really love it. So I hope that you do as well. Let me know if you do down in the comments below. Please give it a big thumbs up as well and subscribe. And if you are new here, then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel and you can subscribe if you want to. I did already do my moisturiser and everything this morning. So I'm just gonna freshen up my skin a little bit this is the Primer Water from Primark. I did recently do like a review video on Primark, which you can see in one of these corners. I'm never sure which one it is. But I have been really loving some of the things that I got from there. So I'm just gonna spritz with this. Mm, and it smells amazing as well. Because this is a spring makeup look, I want the skin to be really nice and fresh and glowing. So I'm gonna use some strobing cream from Primark as well. This is in the shade Pearl. I do also love the MAC strobing cream and in that one, I use gold light and this I start off on the high points of the face which is where I want most of the product concentrated and then I'll just blend it all over. This one does dry down unlike the MAC strobing cream which I find is a bit more hydrating but I still love the glow that this one gives. For my foundation I'm going to use one of my all-time favourites which is the Rimmel Weight Me Up foundation. This is one of my all-time favourites for spring summertime because it is so luminous and comfortable. I have recently bought the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation which is now available in the UK. I'm going to be doing a review on that next which is why I've not used it in this video because I was very very tempted. This is in the shade Soft Beige because I have tanned and they probably can't tell. And I do really like to dot it around the skin first. I'm sure it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. <laughs> and I am using a dirty beauty blender, so please excuse me, I haven't cleaned it. Usually I will always clean my beauty blender before I do my makeup, but I've been a bit lazy today. I really love this foundation because it is still a nice coverage as well. You could definitely sheer it out, but you can also really build it up as well. Because I do like more of a medium to full coverage. Okay, I am really happy with that. It's a nice medium coverage and it's still nice and glowy and fresh as well. I can still see some of my skin showing through, which I do really, really like. So let's move on to concealer. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Concealer and I've not stopped using this since I bought it and did that review on it, which I will also leave in one of these corners so you can see that as well. Just absolutely love this concealer. I'm not going to go too heavy with it today because it is a more of a full coverage concealer but I do want to sort of concentrate it in this area because I am quite dark. I don't know, I must be quite tired today. And then straighten it with a beauty blender to blend all that out. I don't want this makeup look to be too well done. I don't want it to be like a super glam look. It's going to be just nice and fresh, suitable for spring. To contour, I'm going to use the Rimmel Insta Duo Stick. This one is in medium. And I like to sort of contour and bronze up the face with this. So I do bring it up onto my cheeks as well. And then I just like to use a little buffing brush to blend it all out. I try not to blend it down below the contour. Just so I don't have to clean it up later on because I am lazy but I just really like the effect that it gives. So to keep as much of this nice spring glow as I possibly can I'm only going to set sort of this section of the eye just so my under eye concealer doesn't crease. So for that I'm going to use the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte. I'm going to use a compact powder. I'm not going to bother with a translucent powder today. So I'm just going to press that in underneath the eyes. And then I'm going to take a little bit over the lid as well because I did put a little bit of the concealer on them as well. Then for my bronzer, I'm going to use MAC Give Me So Much. I've noticed it's the only high-end product that I'm using in today's tutorial. The rest is all drugstore. So for the eyes, I wanted to stick to more like pastel -y tones and I never ever use like purples and blues. So I think I'm going to go with purples today. I've got a couple of different palettes to play with. So the first one is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. And this one has loads of beautiful bright shades in. And the next one is the Carly Bybal palette. I thought this row 
of more purpley tones is really pretty and the highlighters in here are my absolute favourites. So I'm going to play with both of them. I don't want to do anything too dramatic so I'm going to first go in with this pastel purple. So this one I'm taking all over the lid and into the crease as well. I'm also going to blend it out towards my brow as well. I want this to be not so neat really but I also want to build it up so you can actually see colour. I think the last time I used this palette was for my Halloween school tutorial last year. Moving on to the Carly Bible palette, I'm just going to use that very middle shade there, but just on the outer crease, just a slight bit. I don't want to make this sort of too mauve -y. I do want it to be quite pastel -y. so this is just going just slightly into this outer crease. So for the brow bone and inner corner highlights, I'm going to use this end shade right here. I can't decide whether I want to put any shimmer on the lid or not. I just can't make my mind up yet. I definitely need something here. Okay, I think I am ever so slightly just going to press some of that darker shimmery shade just over the lid a little bit. Just taking a bit on my finger and then just pressing it on. Don't want it to be too, too shimmery. For the under eyes, I'm using first the like lavender purple shade. And then I'm also going to mix in a bit of that one as well. For my waterline, I'm going to use this light blue pencil. This is from Maybelline. And I love using this sometimes instead of like a nude pencil just to add a little bit of colour. I've just applied my lashes and mascara off camera because that always takes me so long to do. I've chosen for lashes the Ardell Demi Wispies but the double up ones so they're two layered. They're just really nice, they're really light and fluffy as well and because the eye makeup isn't too heavy I thought that these would look really nice. Yeah I'm really happy with them. I am just gonna apply a little bit more shadow underneath the eye because I feel like you can't really see that that well. So which colour am I going to use? I think I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of that one just underneath the eyes. That's better, just so you can see it a little bit better. For blush, I'm gonna use a little bit of Luminoso from Milani. And then for highlights, I'm going back in with the Carly Bible palette and then I'm gonna use this one, I think. For lips, I've got absolutely no idea what goes with purple because I never wear purple. But I really want to keep to like the pastely bright colour spring theme. So I got sent some of the new lip products from NYX. So I just picked out like a nude peachy colour. So I'm going to try this and see if it works. The lip pencil that I'm using is called San Francisco. And then the lipstick that I found was in... Kyoto. Okay, what do we think? Does this lip go or does it not go? I think it goes. I think it looks really nice. No, I like it. So that completes my cool pastel spring makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did down in the comments below and please give it a big thumbs up as well and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!